stop our thing, my lord. Did you hear Justin Moreland got charged with domestic boxing? I did! I did! Teddy's for breakfast, eighty dollars. Where to go, rolls me careful. <laughs> Oh, man! Sorry for the woman whose face he punched in, but I mean... Other than that, kind of a dub for society. I turned myself into a felon, Morty! What's with the boring thing? Oh, why is my vision blurry? Oh, my God. Oh, my vision's still kind of blurry. What the hell? I don't know what's going on with my eyes, but my vision's kind of blurry. Go to the optometrist. I don't want to. Okay, rip Pippa's eyes. Rip my eyes. Eric, thing with the two dollars. Sims 4 with DLC is $870. Fuck EA. Fuck you, EA. Fuck you. I know I'm not supposed to shit talk companies and stuff, but like, unironically, fuck EA. Burn in hell, EA. You're, you're a terrible, you're, you're terrible people. You're a bunch of terrible people. I feel bad because it seems like some of your project managers, managers are really nice people based on what I've seen from the Sims community, right? It's really unfortunate because it seems like there's some really passionate people working at EA and they have to deal with all the fucking crazy shit that's going on in like the board meetings or whatever the fuck. I don't know what the fuck is going on over there. But Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. $870. There's not even that much in the expansion packs. There's seriously not. I've always felt like Sims expansion packs were such a waste of money. They barely add anything to the game. They do not affect gameplay in a noticeable way, in my opinion. Just don't buy them then. I don't. I have never bought a Sims expansions or the Sims games. But I do enjoy them. Which Sims? All of them! Sims expansions have never been good, chat! Your people who believe the Sims expansions were good are blinded by nostalgia because they have never been worth the, fuck the fucking price tag. They have literally never been worth the fucking price tag and anyone who says otherwise is blinded by nostalgia. I'm serious. I, I am dead fucking serious, chat. Isn't the beach one quite good? Which one's the fucking beach one? The one that adds like mermaids and- Oh shit. The one that adds like the mermaids and shit and like Sims- Was it three? Right? Four or some shit? I don't know. You alright? No, they're not alright. They're fucking dead. Just like you, loser. Not in English, thank you, Rest in peace, Battlefield. Mm, rest in peace, Battlefield. It's a dollhouse for men. Okay. The Sims... I don't think The Sims is a dollhouse for men. I think it's a dollhouse for women. I think The Sims is largely played by women. Okay. Is it? Yes. The Sims is fun. But it's just... It's just not worth... It's just not worth the baggage. Thing, do like men just play the Sims to kill them in weird ways? No, women do that too. Women, women do that too. Uh, one of my favorite pastimes in The Sims was making the family tree so large that it broke the game. It's gonna blow. What? I believe it. Baby, you're not a woman. You did that? Yeah. I would have, I would have a male Sim, and I would go around and I'd impregnate all the female Sims in the game, and eventually there'd be so many babies that the family tree didn't work anymore. <laughs> Fetty's been okay. I was. I wanted to break the game! Why, chat? Leave me alone! Yeah, chat, you're not very Sigma right now, chat! <laughs> Genghis Khan of Sims! Oh my god. I, I used to do a lot of shit in The Sims. My favorite way to play The Sims, chat, my, my favorite way to play The Sims is with cheat modes on. I play with cheats on, I max out my money, and I keep dragging my Sims happiness all the way up, and I force them to grind skills to max level. I, I turn all my Sims into little, little work slaves. I can't play it any other way. If I play it normally, it feels like it takes too long. Any weird mods? The drug mods and the murder mods. Also decorations. I love, like, I have one where I could put, like, I could put, like, anime posters up and stuff like that. So just slaves? Yeah. I think thing, Dolores. Best part of Sims was making them pee themselves. True. True. Making a room as small as possible and locking a sim you don't like in there. The real challenge in the Sims games that you have to learn... Huh? What the fuck was that? The real challenge in The Sims games is learning what cheats exactly you need to do and what mods you need to install in order to be able to kill any sim at any point. Not just saying we $10. Mother Lord is the OG cheat. Mother Lord, Rosebud, uh... <sighs> okay. John the English thing I thought of Pippa being God is terrifying. I was a, I was a merciless God. I was a merciless God. I enjoyed destroying people's homes. Chat. I one of my oh God. I want to talk about Sims and Yenigans. One of my other favorite things to do was to um I'd find like wealthy Sims right. I'd find wealthy Sims like big houses, houses that I wanted right. I always thought it was way too easy to get rich in The Sims because even if you play it normally right, if you want to play it normally and you want to win at The Sims, basically what I'd do is I'd have I'd, I'd I'd make a Sim right and I'd give them I think. 
like the uh, is it flirty romantic and like the the good talker one some shit like that and then i'd i'd find like the rich sim whatever rich sim and i'd i'd i'd, I'd marry them right i'd make them divorce their wife or their husband or whatever and then i'd marry my sim to their sim and then i'd either just like kill them or kick them out of the family and basically i would get the best house in the game gold digger pivot what, 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 what? That's how you win the Sims, though. What the real is it, Bippa? I'm not... I'm not wrong, though. I'm not wrong. Andrew Tate Sims. Andrew's thinking the noise. Pippa the homewrecker, that's cool. Wrong, but wrong. No. I don't show my face in the noise. Pippa's a proud homewrecker because it helps you win the game. And then you can just sell all their stuff. You just sell all their stuff. And you have all that money. And you have that house. And then you just keep doing it. Until you own all the lots and there's like no other sims to populate them. I wonder if after enough time, the plots do get repopulated. But I felt like every time I ended up like moving into a lot, no sims moved into it. Maybe it was like the version of the game that I had or something? 2 HP in a dream? Yeah, 2 HP in a dream. I can fix her! <laughs> and I thought you were a dude! They don't repopulate. I can't... Oh. Get down. Oh, hi. Another thing that was really easy to do. I think it's in the, um... Oh, God. I don't remember which version of The Sims it is. But there's one of The Sims games that has, like, a celebrity meter, right? It has, like, a five-star system of, like, how famous your sim is and stuff. I think it's Sims 3. And I would, um... That one's also easy. That's also the easiest way. Thundercat thing in $10. Pippa woke up in a romance novel. Has the villainess coming to show soon? Um, it was in one as well, was it? I don't remember. There's been so many Sims games and they all kind of bleed together in my brain. It was DLC in Sims 3? Well, regardless. You can, um... It's really easy to cheese the, the celebrity system. And then people will send you, like, free stuff. And people will all want to be your friends and stuff. And, like, it's really easy to just win the game. The way they set these games up, man, they really incentivize you doing bad shit. Like, why? I think getting a job in The Sims makes no actual sense, right? I don't think getting a job in The Sims makes any sense. Because you can just find a rich sim. And you can leech off of them. And then while you're relying on their funds and everything, you become a celebrity. And then, um, you win the game. I mean, I'm kind of going the celebrity route, right? I mean, I'm a streamer. So, I mean, that's kind of... That, that's kind of like that. But I'm too ugly for, like, the real-life equivalent of, um... Sims gold digging. Which I guess is just regular gold digging. But I would never be able to accomplish that. But in The Sims, I can make my... Make my sim as attractive as I want. And the game doesn't really have, like, an attractiveness meter. So... How did you guys play The Sims? How did you guys do The Sims? I just think with the now. I ain't saying she a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke simmas. You didn't? Ah. Never did. Never played The Sims. With cheats. Based. Based. I thought I could pick it up! Everybody, everybody, make sure to sub like, comment, and subscribe to Low Low Effort Clips. That's right, Low Effort Clips. Right here on YouTube.com. Yeah, and hit the notification bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah.